Hey everyone, it's Jessica with that hashtag show, and I'm here today with Willa Fitzgerald to talk about her new movie, Strange Darling. Now, to kick things off, tell me a little bit about the lady and what drew you to Strange Darling. I mean, it was the script. The script is so good. The script is the script is the movie that you see on the screen, and um, and it was just one of those things where I read it and it was just kind of undeniable in what it was, and I just really wanted to do it. Fair enough. <laughs> now you've also set up a really fun run of horror and thriller projects because last year you had Fall of the House of Usher and now you've got Strange Darling and in both you get to play these women who are really ready to do whatever it takes to survive and come out on top so who do you think is more of a survivor Madeline Usher or the lady who's most likely to be the final girl oh I think they're very capable in very different ways I will say that I don't know who would win in a fight. <laughs> I think maybe the lady would win in a fight, but, um, but yeah, there, there, I mean, that is so true. I would have never, I, I mean, funnily, I haven't really ever thought about them in the same breath really, but um, they are, they are really, um, they are very dedicated to their survival and to trying to, to trying to get what they want. And um, yeah. That's a good question. I don't know the answer. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. I think Madeline is more of a planner for me, but I think you're right. The the yeah. lady's more of a Madeline's one really more of a planner. Madeline's got the forethought. She's got yeah. the forethought. I don't know if the lady does. <laughs> for sure. For sure. What do you like about getting to be involved in these kind of genre projects? Um, I mean, I love genre as sort of a category because. Um, when you're working in that world and especially in this movie which is really to me definitely an allegory um there's so much room to play like you 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 have sort of an infinite well um to draw on and as an actor that's really exciting because it it means that you can kind of you can just fill up your bucket with as much stuff as you want to propel you forward in the story um and i think that JT wrote a very clear character on the page. And because it was so clear, it was very easy for me to kind of fill in all of the stuff that we don't necessarily ever find out about her. Um, all of the sort of, you know, backstory or whatever um, that kind of shapes her into this three-dimensional person. Um, and, and that's kind of my favorite part about being an actor, I think, is, is solving those puzzles that the writers um, set up for you and, and seeing like what, where it goes. Yeah, absolutely. All right, last one for you. Why should everyone head to the theater and watch Strange Darling? Uh, you should go to the theater to see this movie because I don't think you want to see it in any other format. It's loud. It's intense. It is just best viewed in a theater setting. And I would so encourage you to see it while it still is in theaters because it's a real, it's a, the it's a true theatrical experience. And it's a ride. It's like going to an amusement park. You got to go to ride the ride. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, it's a great sell. Couldn't say it better myself. Thank you so much for talking with me today.